So on these knobs, I'm going to uh, start turning these, and this is tapered. So when I put it in the three jaw chuck, you know, I can't get it in there just perfectly straight. And I don't have a great hold on it. Um, so I can't grab this part because, you know, it's got this flare on it, the flash on it, and the sprue sticking out. So what I'm what I'm planning to do here is I'm going to get them in here pretty straight. I'm going to knock the crust off this edge and this edge. Then we'll turn them around and turn the stem down to three quarters of an inch. You know, we'll turn them around, we'll turn this down to three quarters of an inch. Then we can turn this back, put it in a collet, and come back and finish this up. Because I want to put a knurl on here, and I just, I can't do that, I don't think, um, with such a light, uh, with such a light grasp of it. So, all right, that's what we're going to be doing. That's got the crust off the side. All right, we're gonna use the carbide cutter to uh, knock the crust off of this face right here.
Alright, we're at point eight three point eight three one. Alright, let me put that in my DRO. Alright. Keep going. So I'm gonna go to 48. 
paint on my DRO, which is 750. It has to do with taking that lighter cut. somewhere around 2.25 or uh, two and a quarter and I'm going to knurl this surface so the closest uh, diameter to 2.25 that my knurl will do you know you can't just knurl any diameter it has to match the pitch of your knurls and uh, I'm going to do a video on that uh, that uh, here in just a minute but anyway, so I'm going to turn this down to 2.234 because that will match our neural. Okay, so here we go. All right, I'm going to 2.24 first. Two, three, four. Right there. 
working on there. Nice job. Alright, chamfer off the edges. Okay. Okay, we got the knobs finished up. And um, I learned a couple things on this project. Uh, one, when we poured these, these knobs were poured in this position. They were up like this okay so that means that any air any sand anything like that floats to the top because sand is lighter than aluminum so it floats to the top so if I had poured them with them in this direction then all of the junk would have floated up into these stems which are actually twice this long so I would have cut it off and lost most of that so the other thing is they have tiny little pinholes in them and um, that's probably air and that just means I, I think it means I didn't degas it well enough. So uh, I'll have to be more careful about that. But these are going to be fully functional for me and, and do exactly what I wanted them to do. Um, we've got uh, the knurling turned out. Let me get that up there. The knurling turned out really well. It's the first time that I've ever really knurled something. Um, you can also see that close. You can see the little pinholes that I was talking about and then here's all the inclusions <laughs> that are on the other side this one's got kind of a rough finish on it this one actually looks better but I could have taken longer on these I could have turned these down thinner and probably gotten rid of most of those inclusions but I was really interested in having a nice wide wide knob that I could torque down on and these I'm gonna use these in my shop so I wasn't too worried about it but uh, anyway, and I got these, I don't think I did a video of pressing uh, these in. I put a, I put a light knurl on a uh, 3 8 rod and then drilled a 3 8 hole. The knurl makes it a little larger than 3 8 and then I uh, pushed it down in there and um, tapped, I mean I took a die and cut the, the threads on there. This is stuck in there an inch. It's This is three quarters of an inch and then it goes a quarter inch down into the knob. If you're interested in, I did a video of uh, how to figure out the diameter that this has to be for your knurl to uh, make do a good job. This is the first time I've really done a knurl that worked really well so uh, if you're interested in that you might watch that video also. Alright well thank you for watching.